Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy John Fiamadio here. Welcome to you back to an episode of Saga Lock. Hopefully, everything is going well, fun, and dandy like everything else. Um, I really should turn my fan on, but I'm just not going to, and I'm just going to suffer for this episode. Uh, but anyway, hopefully, you all have a wonderful day. I love you all a ton. Uh, last episode, we went to um, beat what's his face. That's what I'm going to call him for now. I'm so tired. I was dumb and went to bed at like 5.30 last night, like an idiot. So it's fine. Oh, I have to buy a new phone charger. That's why. Okay. Um, And then, yeah. So I went to bed at 5.30 like an idiot. We got Route 126. That encounter was a Chico Rita. I got that off screen because when I went to go to the underwater, I was like, oh, shoot, 126. An encounter we haven't had yet. Oopsies. And it's like, okay, well... So, and we have not gotten the underwater encounter yet, so I'm going to go get that right now, too. But, anyway, I am wondering how you guys are doing. Um, you'll see this on Friday, I believe. So, tomorrow, uh, we have a fun thing called a sleep lock on Jonas's channel. And, honestly, I'm super... It's both! <laughs> Let's go! Literally talking about the freaking Jonas and sleep lock, and we get a both! What a perfectly timed thing! <laughs> yes! That's amazing. Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna needle arm boof. I have the perfect Pokemon out for this! Let's freaking go. Because needle arm is gonna do nothing. Wow! I love it. Okay, so, so this is actually a great topic for today. You know when just perfect events just happen out of nowhere and you're like, wow, that was like way too perfect to have happen, but it happened and it was cool. And that's like this exact situation. So a lot of the times you, uh, everybody thinks about it's like, oh, if this happened, it'd be so cool. And it's like, sorry, I just stopped for a second. Uh, that's a sky attack, but you're level 23, so it won't do anything. Um, but yeah, so it's like really crazy when you think about it, because some of these Pokemon, you're just like, wow, okay, this is weird. I thought it was going to do nothing. Hello? <laughs> Don't worry, this Dragon Eye's level 23, it'll do absolutely nothing. Does almost, literally almost one. Wait, does this have huge power? If this thing has huge power, if this thing has huge power, and you guys are about to do a kill episode, yo! Okay, like that's scary. Not gonna say the, anything other than that's really super scary. But yeah, so Jonas and I were going over Saga Lock, speaking of Jonas, and just random stuff that we've been going through and like our commentary styles and how different our commentary styles are and how crazy it is that our commentary styles are as different as they are. And it's just like, it is very crazy when you look at it, and you're like, wow. So my uh, my commentary style has a tendency to, like, bounce to the game. That does so much. I mean, it's super effective, but, like, I'm double this thing's level. H how does it do so much damage? Also, I've missed five grass whistles in a row. Can we not game? Um, I gotta move this Zelda thing. So... Anyway, my commentary style is a lot more, like, energy-driven and has a lot more, like, the game powers the commentary rather than what most, like, his commentary style, he does a lot of, like, he talks about things, right? So, he has a better, like, idea of topic arrangements, whereas I really am just, like, I'm carried by energy. But anyway, we were talking about this last night, and... It was a great conversation. I loved it. And I wanted to, like, see how I could improve my commentary, how I could get better. Um, and one thing we were talking about is, like, how in Sogloc, I feel like I'm just, like, coasting right now. And coasting in Sogloc is not really the most great scenario. Um, <laughs> but, yes. So, it's kind of just a crazy thing to think about. Is that I'm just, I feel like I'm coasting a lot more. And I don't want to feel like I'm coasting. But I can tell you I am. And a lot of that was, like, my team is just trash, and the speed up doesn't do very much for me right now because it's pointless to use because it makes the audio quality and everything bad, and it's just, like, 
yeah. But something that we had come across and thought about is that, like, you, my commentary style and the way it is, it works. But does it, like, how does it fare or compare to other things and other forms of commentary that are more explanatory? So while we were thinking about it, it was kind of funny because... Um, the entire time we were talking about both of our commentaries, there was this video in his freaking recommended, right? And of course, he did, he wasn't looking at it because, you know, Jonas already has a partner and somebody who cares about him a ton and that he cares about a ton. I don't. So, <laughs> my brain was just like, like, I saw seven foot two in the title and I was just like, I want you. Like, literally, that was the entire brain thought process. So we're talking about this, and I'm, like, bouncing between the two conversations. Because I'm, like, even though the 7 foot 2 thing is not a conversation. But, like, <laughs> like we're, we're keeping this conversation going, making sure everything's okay. And, like, I have a great time in this conversation. But I am fucking distracted, as all can be. Because there's this hot dude that's 7 two. I, so, and, you know, I like... Like, I, I, this could be the weirdest thing I think I've ever said. I like the feeling of being shorter, right? And I think a lot of that is because, well, being six, nearly six, six, you don't get that ever. So being that you, like, being nearly six, six, you're like, okay, well, that that's awesome. I actually could feel, like, shorter for a minute. Because uh, I've had a lot of, like, being six, six, you get a lot of, like, Lo not looks, that's not the word I'm looking for, but you get a lot of people that are like, wow, you're tall. How tall are you? Or, wow, do you play basketball? What type? Or wh I keep looking up. Okay, so the part of the reason, so something Jonas and I were talking about too, is that I look up to the screen. Well, that's because my screen's here. Like, my setup is too jank. Um, and if I have my camera up here, then the angle's terrible, and I'm like, this the entire time to you guys. So I like this angle, but I might have to, like, maneuver the game or figure out something with the game move things around, like, get things to work. But I like where my camera's sitting right now, especially if I'm going to be sitting upright. But anyway, continuing the conversation, um, you get a lot of people that are like, wow, you are cool. You are like this, and yada, yada, yada. You're so tall. You must play basketball. And if you don't play basketball, it's like, well, why don't you play basketball? That doesn't make any sense in the world. Um, so, but I do play basketball, so it does make that conversation a lot better. But I couldn't imagine having a conversation like this where, like, the person doesn't play basketball. Because if you don't play basketball, people are like, you're tall, you're supposed, that's what you're supposed to do. That's, like, what you're destined to do. And it's like, well, what if the tall person didn't like sports? Like, I like sports, so it's fine. I oofed, sorry. I like sports, so it's fine. But it's not all people like sports. So does that mean that they're objectively worse because they don't like sports? No, but... Like, in society, if you're tall and don't play basketball, you're not as good as the tall people who play basketball. It's like, what the? Why does that matter at all? But it's okay. Game Boy Luke. Ah! So, like, I, I've never understood why that even matters in the first place. But, yeah. So, I like the feeling to, to like, feel smaller because I never get that feeling. And I'm also passing in... <laughs> This is such a weird conversation, but yeah. Anyway, you, you you know what I mean by passive. It's fine. If you know what I mean by passive, everything's okay. If you don't know what I mean by passive, you're not old enough for this conversation, and it's okay. Um, <laughs> it's plain and simple. I'm not I'm not gonna catch this thing, am I? I just gotta make sure I see it glowing and then run. Let's go! Boop has been caught. Okay, well, that part, that, that made it better. Um, we're naming a boop. But yeah, like, it's just weird. <laughs> so, speaking of 7-2, boop 7-3. Oh my god, what the... Like... <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even know that. That's hilarious. I, like, I'm sure that a lot of people are like, bro, you're talking about the 7-2 male. 
and you have Boof right here who's 7-3 in mail. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's amazing. Again, today's just a coincidence episode, and I love bouncing off of coincidences because if the game is giving me coincidences, that's easy commentary, right? Like, honestly, the game is literally just handing me fun topics to talk about, and it makes the episode just so much better because I actually have a topic to talk about. Oh, this is my encounter. Sableye would be good, but it's not really going to carry over. So, eh. We just got a huge power boof, I'm assuming. So, because the amount of damage that did, it has to have a good ability. And if it's huge power, then something's dying. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Uh, but I, I like, I have an odd feeling that it's actually got, like, huge power or something. No, immunity! So, Boof is just that strong. It might be, like... Oh, uh, it's even a bad nature. What? Boof is just that good? Jeez, well, I should have known that, but... Um, so, immunity, Dragonite. Well, I'll definitely be on the team for the Elite Four, because... Of the way that the series works, so that's cool at all. But yeah, so I love having that situation and being like, okay, that's kind of a fun thing to think about, uh, because you know, you never get when you're like single and have been single for like over a year, and by over a year I mean close to two years now. Um. It's kind of in like a weird thought process, and you're like, okay, like I like being single. Don't get me wrong, I do, but it's it's a weird spot because everybody is growing up, right? So and it feels like I'm the only one that's not growing up, even though I'm growing up in my own way, focusing on school and focusing on work and focusing on financials and getting everything figured out that in that regard. But it just doesn't feel that way. Because everybody else is growing up in a different way, I guess, is the best way to explain, like, to talk about it. Uh, because it feels that way, it's like, well, how do I make it not feel that way? And how do I make it feel more okay and acceptable? Because, like, my sister, you know, has had a relationship for two years now. And is probably, in the near future, going to have a husband instead of, or a fiancé or something. Because he's already wanting to propose to her because it makes sense. You know, they've been together for two years. He's got a house. He's got a place. And she's about to move out. And she's my younger sister. So it's weird that I like, it feels like she's in a, like, a better position. But in all reality, is she in a better position? No, we're in an equal position because we're both doing completely different tracks in life. My track is college, get myself set up and figured out so I can support myself and then add somebody to the mix and add a second person. So like that's my thought process on life and how things should go. But my sister's is add somebody to the equation, get a family going and then go to school. So it's like completely different. Um which again, neither is bad, neither is good. It doesn't like they both don't matter. Um but it's like it just makes more sense to you to do it the first way. But because it makes more sense, doesn't make it objectively better. Um, so, it's just something interesting that you think about. It. It's like, okay, well, that's just what you think. And your thoughts do matter. But do they matter to the significance that uh, people think they do? No. Your thoughts are just what you think about. And YouTube is just a way to vocalize and get those thoughts out. But it doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't matter, like, how the thoughts translate unless, you know, they, you're like, they're terrible thoughts. But <laughs> most of the time, thoughts aren't that bad because if they were bad, you wouldn't be talking about them. <laughs> like, plain and simple. If you're smart and your thoughts were bad, you would not be talking about the thoughts. So that way, nothing terrible happens. But another thing that I, Jonas and I were talking about was time dilation. And how crazy time dilation feels. Because a I keep thinking that a lot of the stuff that we did was in 2016, 2017. This is our actual encounter. I'm running. I don't really care. Uh, and it's been dilated to the point where it's like, it's really not been that long. What? And that's the general thought process and consensus is 
whoa, it has not been that long. And even though it does feel that long, long sorry, I, my allergies are killing me right now. Um, and I'm getting brutally murdered by them. So I apologize if I take pauses and stops here and there. Um, that's because I'm having drainage issues. Whoa, don't we love the fucking allergies? They're the best. Sorry, YouTube, I'm going to have to mark this as a <laughs> slightly inappropriate language. Because <laughs> um, it is mad triggering when you have that situation where you're like, I hate allergies. Allergies are actually trash, though. Like, anybody who has hay fever knows how bad allergies are. And it's just like, ah! like, that's literally how it feels every freaking time. Um, also, our encounter. I know I should be excited about this. But, like, also, we've already had this Pokemon. And, woo. <laughs> like, we don't need to relive Tarot memories. Because Tarot was a great mon that I loved a lot. But, I can also be excited because I'm leading the right Pokemon. Also... Am I actually leading the right Pokemon? Because holy crap, that's going to hurt. Um, I don't know if you guys know what this is. Most people do. Oh my god! Most people do. But this thing is like the ice... Uh, the sparkling ice, like water water sparkling thing. And I love these a lot. And they've come out with a lot of new flavors lately. And... Did I confuse Ray? I did. And I love a lot of the new flavors that they came up with. Because it's just like ginger and lime like that sounds like a great combination and it really is i do like that combination like way more than i feel like i should but you know what it's fine you know combinations are meant to be loved uh, and so it's very cool like seeing a lot of these combinations that you're like this doesn't sound like it'd be good and then it'd be really good and you know for sodas and stuff this is like not a bad thing it's zero fat zero sodium zero carbs zero proteins like it's got no sugar at all. I think it has aspartame, which really means that it has sugar in it. But I'm double checking. I like I said, I believe it has some form of aspartame in it. Like, there's no way it doesn't have aspartame or sucralose. Um, Yeah, there it is, sucralose. I'm like, ah, there's no way it doesn't have sucralose in it. Like, I, so, <laughs> I feel like I'm your nutritionist teacher, and I should be because I'm overweight and, like, definitely I'm not the best at being nutritionally, like, sound. <laughs> but, um, oh, crap, we burned this. There's no way we're catching it now, is there? Um, but what I was going off of is that there's some sodas that are, like, better than others, and... You know, this is not too bad for you. It's not great for you either. But it's not, like, the worst thing in the world for you. And, like, it's better than, like, your Cokes and your, like, Pepsis and your darker sodas. Um, but, again, I don't really mind. Part of my, like, thing recently has been this lovely son of a gun that I'm going to pull out right now. This thing has been... A big help. Like, I filled this up today. And, see, I'm getting better at drinking water. Like, this... I'm trying to train myself to drink more water. Because I'm terrible at hydrating myself, right? So, one of my biggest things that I tend to do is, like... My average cup of water is probably, like, five cups of water. And that's it. In a day. Which is really bad. And needs to be corrected. And it's, like... It's hard. Because... You get into a habit of something, and it makes it difficult to correct. Hence, a habit. Um, and because it's a habit that you do, and you're trying to break it, it just... I don't know. I'm trying to like explain it in a way, and I really can't. But I'm trying to change my not healthy habits to healthy habits. Hence, Dark Souls... And every time I die, I exercise. Because that's... Uh, but basically, what in a lot of, like, the streams where it's, like, I punish myself with exercise. Um, like, the Forest History streams and the other streams like that. Like, that's part... That was the entire... The entire purpose of May 
um, the fitness month because I wanted to get myself into more habits of streaming and the consequence is exercising because I am overweight um, and I want to change that. So the best way to change that is changing some habits of yours that are not great. And one of the things I do that Jonas and I already know is not the greatest for you is excessive streaming. And by ex and like excessive sitting down because all of my homework assignments and all of my stuff are, well, sitting down. That's just the premise of what it is. It's everything sitting down and like homework, you're sitting down. You're not actually, wow, my lip touched the mic and that was weird. Uh, but yeah, the entire point is you're sitting down and I sit down too much. So like work, I stand up, but does that matter in the long run if you're standing up and just standing still? No, not really. So my that that was where you know the whole okay well let's go ahead and create a scenario or situation in which i'm not sitting down as much or i'm intermittently sitting down and doing exercises and i was gonna do a dark soul stream on the day of recording which is tuesday um but I didn't because I woke up and then I, you know, was doing some stuff for the Jonas' sleep block. And then I am recording this instead because my new entire goal um, with this series, same goal, but like a different method of recording. So I want to consistently be a week ahead of recording. So that way, if shit hits the fan, because it is a, um, like... Sorry, I'm trying to explain it, and I can't figure out a way to explain it. Uh, because I'm in school, there we go, and you never know if you're going to have a tough week of school or a not tough week of school. That way, I know that if I'm in a light week of school, like I am right now, I can get a week ahead um, in Soglock. So, the only issue, which makes this series a lot harder to record, and that I have found makes this series a lot harder to record, is... Stuff like the kills and the other audience attention things. And of course, with school getting harder, it's getting harder to maintain the whole situation. But I still have to keep the premise of the series. So I am. Uh, but I, so anytime I get to like an audience choice, I have to stop what I'm doing, which is kind of kind of hard because it, like then I can't record what I want to when I want to. Um, because it's all, it's, there's dependencies, <laughs> but yeah, so this, honestly, it, I love the series a lot, but there's some struggles with the series, AKA figuring out how to maintain everything and keep it consistent because consistency is key on YouTube, right? That's always been a key on YouTube. And if I can't be consistent, I feel like I'm failing because I am. It literally, I don't feel like I'm failing. I am failing. And so, I want to make sure I find a way to maintain consistency. And if you think about it, every 10 episodes, there's an audience choice. Guaranteed, every 10 episodes, there's an audience choice. Well, that's three weeks and one recording. So, is there more audience choices? Yes. But are they more sparing? Also, yes. So, realistically, I could get ahead and pre-record some things. And as I pre-record them, I just stop on any audience choice situation, and it's just ultimately going to be a better situation for everybody. Episodes go up on time. I'm not stressed because, you know, school and work and all the other crap that life likes to throw your way. So it just ultimately results in better content and less stressful content. And that just leads to just the happy content. And I fucked up the puzzle. Crap. I believe that there's the trainer. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to have a lot of trainers. Great. But, yeah. So, it just leads to better and ultimately, like, the best kind of commentary that you can make. Ball while. And I like commentary that is fun and just different. And I want to be different than everybody else. But you, it's just trying to find ways to differentiate yourself from others is not an easy task 
but I'm trying to get that to get that done. So, and we will. We'll find a way, and I know we will, because I believe in us to find a way to get things done and be better. Um, but it's just different isn't always better, um, and it's a weird thing to think about because you're always told differently, and otherwise, it's like you're if you're blending in, you're not as good. But in all reality, that's just false. Is all heckles because. You can have the same personality and same, like, situations. But, like, little quirks here and there are different than being different overall. Because, yeah. So, anyway, that's that's what I mean in all reality. Like, of course you want to have a little bit and twinges of differences. Right? Because if you didn't have a twinge and differences and you were just a fucking clone, then, no, you're not actually, like, no, that's not interesting. But, like, having a similar premise... With twinges here and there, make it interesting and make it fun. So that's that's what I'm meaning. I just needed to be more specific. So I just was like, this doesn't sound specific enough. Let me change that. Uh, okay. But yeah, so. <clears throat> God, I freaking. I need to take my allergy medications. I just haven't. And again, I just. Ugh. Back, secondly, back to allergies. I hate them. They're just annoying. Like, honestly, anybody who suffers with allergy or asthmatic symptoms due to allergies, I, I understand. Oh crap. Uh, oh no, I can do that. Okay, yes, yes, I got it. It's sorry. I have to concentrate for a second because I'm just that bad at this puzzle that I have to concentrate for a minute before we take on Wallace. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. So now it's kind. It is a very weird thing to kind of think about is all of like your differences they, that's what makes you you and those differences are always a positive like all right well i can't say they're always positive but like 99.9 percent .9 of the time they're positive um and you know it's just it's cool because it just makes you an individual and makes you who you are But it's also cool because two two siblings can be completely different people. And Wallace has five months, not four months. <laughs> Good job, John. <laughs> I told chat, my Wallace goes four months. <laughs> because I don't look at shit before I post it. Which is a terrible habit, I know. But when you... Oh. Drizzle Thunder Electabuzz. That's busted. That's so busted. Drizzle Thunder Electabuzz. Hold on a second. I My brain didn't comprehend that that was actually busted until that happened. Okay. Wow. Um, who is he's busted? Uh, but not for long because we're almost in freaking Sinnoh. Which, honestly, I'm super excited for Sinnoh because... Then I'll be joining Jonas! Yas, girls! We'll join Jonas, but it's fine. Uh, that really doesn't matter, because <laughs> we'll probably surpass Jonas quick, because we'll have speed up. Um, and our premise is completely different from Jonas's. So, go watch Jonas's raw platinum Nuzlocke, because you'll see the stark differences between our two commentary styles, and how Pokemon has evolved over the years, because it's kind of crazy when you look at, like, Pokemon, like, my channel and stuff, like, the, uh, I'm trying to be have professional aspects and do things professionally, but it doesn't actually work out that way. Um, but it's like the new style of Pokétuber versus the older style of how everything looked, and like it's it's a really cool thing conceptually that I do enjoy a lot. Um, and yeah, you just gotta watch it to understand like some of the things that just are said and how things happen and what I'm talking about because it's just. It's a cool thing conceptually. And there's three episodes a week in that series. So, yeah, go to Critical Cacturn's channel. <sighs> but, 
But also, this is the ace, so that's good because we bop it. Persian. Speaking of bopping things, I'm going to heal first before I bop. But at least I saw that I had some stuff to sell. Oh, lock on? Oh, you have guillotine. Let's not. <laughs> I'm like, just in case you have freaking guillotine, which you could totally have. Uh, Gengar, 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 Gengar. Do we have anything to take on Gengar with you? Yes, okay. This is going to force you to use your poison moves if you have any. Wait, Cordy's got... Oh, no. Uh, Gengar had Drizzle. That's good, actually. What is nature power actually going to be in this area? I feel like it's not actually going to be anything I can hit it with. I think it's just going to be like... Yeah, okay, it's just swift. Which is nothing. Okay, good to know. Like, I just don't think of those things. And because I don't, it's not the greatest thing not to think. Okay, anyway... Sorry about the longer episode of Saw Glock. I love you all so much. We got TM03, which we don't even know what that is. And we can go to Victory Road in the Elite Four. So we're going to take on Victory Road in episode 59. And then we're going to take on the Elite Four in starting episode 60, which means you guys are going to be able to kill a Pokemon, which is definitely not scary at all. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll find out. But hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And, yeah, ever to Evergrande City we go. I'm actually going to actually fly to Moss Deep. Don't even know if I fly on a Pokemon, but I should. Well, let's double check, because I should have fly, but I might not. Oh, no, because literally nobody on my team is able to learn it. Good job. But, yeah, I was going to fly to Moss Deep, so that I getting to Evergrande is, like, a bunch easier. So, let's go ahead and pull out freaking Dead Berry, which I don't really want to pull out Dead Berry, but... We have to for the sake of freaking being able to get to where we want to. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Next episode, you'll see us in Moss Deep City and heading towards the Elite Four. And I'm super excited for it. Uh, excited but nervous at the same time because excitedly nervous, that's like a fun thing to be. Not really. <laughs> being excitedly nervous is... Oh, yeah, Waterfall too. I'm going to have to keep... I might as well just keep Barry on the freaking team and just... Because it's not illegal for me to do that. So I should probably just... Yeah, I should probably just keep Barry on the team. And leave, like, Sav in the box for now. But yeah, love y'all. Have a great day. Bye!